Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays Loot Crate for February 2015. Let's dive headlong into this one. Let's start out by taking a look at the Loot Crate box itself to see if there's anything special about this one. And I'm not noticing anything special outside of there are two points of cello tape this time around instead of the standard one. And I'm noticing that it's not crushed, even though, once again, I got it in a bag that said, we're sorry, we crushed your package. Hmm, whatever. I'm going to assume that the post office is just using those bags instead of the different white bags. Probably saves them money and recycling and all that fun jazz. So, let us get started by opening up the loot. Hmm. And it takes a little longer than normal because we've got two cello tapes instead of just one. Here we go. And we have a Crate Packing Simulator 2015. Okay, so apparently Loot Crate's even getting in on the joke. All right. Anyways, let's get started. I have a Muni World. Create your own vinyl art toy. I interesting. Um, basically, it's like one of those vinyl thingies, but it's all white, and you could draw on it. It looks like the Timmy Monkey from, uh, Think Geek. Yeah. Well, actually, there's the monkey right there. <laughs> okay, oh, and it's, uh, they're dry erase markers, so you can just draw and then undraw. Neat! That's actually pretty cool. Next, we have... A, I don't know, bug thing? Looks like a little wind-up toy. It's a hex bug. Yes, it is a little wind-up toy. I saw one of these before on one of the previous loot crates. It was a tinier one. It was about yay big. Um, and it had legs instead of fake wheels. Okay, I'll have to play with that later. We have, ooh, I want to know what this is. It's a felt bag. It's blank on both sides. And if we open it up, I'm going to assume I know what's inside of this thing. It is not what I thought it was. It's rock, paper, scissors, dice. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, trippy. Um, okay, so instead of just playing rock, paper, scissors, you're playing completely random rock, paper, scissors. That kind of takes the fun out of the game, because after a while, I can always win. Hmm. No, I don't know what it is about me, but after a while, I do always win. Hmm. Anyways, nothing outside of Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck. Okay, so I have played, I have seen this game. I have not played it myself, but I have seen this game. Basically what it is, is there are two types of cards. There is a, like a person, uh, you know, a pronoun, and then there are powers that go with said pronoun. And you basically argue amongst yourself and your friends which person with those powers would win against the other people with those with their powers. It's a very, very strange, strange game. Um, it's kind of, well, like Mario Party. It would destroy a whole bunch of friendships, basically. Yeah, okay. I'm not into those kind of games, but uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go with it. Roll with it. Uh, New York Times bestseller, Ready Player One. Ernest Klein. What are you? Are you a novel? You are a novel. Whoop, with the pin in it. Hang on. Put you back in there for right now. In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within this world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on their creator's obsession with the pop culture of decades past and that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. Sorry, I can't keep doing that. My throat's killing me. 
One paragraph. My throat hurts. I can't keep doing that. Uh, cool. It's a novel. Uh, it's a novel based on what everybody assumes the Oculus Rift is heading towards. <laughs> Basically. I know, I know, I know. That general concept has been around for a lot longer than the Oculus Rift. Just making a joke. All right, moving along, we definitely have our pin. Whoop. The Loot Crate February 2015 Play Pin, and it's got a Monopoly board on it with Super Fight cards. Oh, and our uh, dice there. Uh, yeah, it's got the Monopoly board. It's got the top hat. It's got the race car. It's got the dice that we just got, and it's got the two Super Fight cards that we just got. All right, does that mean we're getting something Monopoly in here? Or am I done getting things? I got a white sheet of paper. No. Uh, Crate Packing Simulator 2015. Game instructions. Welcome to Loot Crate's first original board game. The goal is simple. Be the first player to have all five items in your crate. Use the rock, paper, scissors, dice to decide whom will take the first move. Once a first player is chosen, consider to continue to use the rock, paper, scissors, dice with the numerical values to move your game token. So, rock one, scissors two, paper three. Land on a star, pick up one item. Land on a circle, dice battle, rock, paper, scissors. Another player to steal one of his items that you're missing. Be careful, if they win the dice battle, they get one of your items. If your opponent doesn't have any items you need, they must return one of their items to an item palette, and you can collect one that you need. There, There is no finish line. Just continue to move around the board until someone completes the crate of five items. Just follow the direction arrows and make sure to ride the conveyor belts to an item if you land on the blue arrows. Okie dokie. Yoink. It is ooh, Firefly Online Buddhist Temple Concept Art. Just checking to see if there's like a game code on the back or something, which there is not. Get ready to experience Firefly Online in your very own premium ship, just like the one in Loot Crate's Firefly fan video, The Verse. Available exclusively to Loot Crate subscribers. Okay. Once Firefly Online is released, get the game on your platform of choice, iOS, Android, Windows OS, or Mac OS. Yep, nope, not going to happen. Uh, okay, this is probably the book, so let's go with this box. It is a poster of some description. Tiny poster, but still cool. Let's see, what do we have? What are you, what are you, what are you? You are... It is Game Program Pac-Man. Wait, hang on. Whoa, get back up here. Game Program Pac-Man with Joystick Controls by Mad Design. Interesting. It's like a cross-section of a uh, cartridge with the actual game in the middle. Interesting design. Neat. Bloop. All right, and then we have the book, which these books are getting higher and higher quality, aren't they? The Co-op Gaming His or, uh, LC Play Co-op Gaming History of Game Controllers. Bloop, 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 bloop. Shall we play a game? Uh, the only winning move is to not play. Dear looters, with the holiday season behind us, we can finally get back to the important things in life like anything to do with play playing keeps the imagination primed with not on, or which not only helps us feel younger but inspires creativity whether you like to play tic-tac-toe or 3d chess anyone is a winner when we use our imagination okie dokie pictures from the last time around well actually it looks like several times past hmm. Uh, let's play together. Why co-op games are good for you. They actually get you interacting with other people instead of just AI. Uh, the Mega Crate. 
gets a quadcopter. I've been wanting one of these, but they're insanely expensive. Uh, little 3D printer from Dremel, apparently. The Oculus Rift DK2. A couple of Minecraft Legos. And apparently that's it. Yeah, apparently that's it. Hmm, okay. Uh, the history of game controllers. Oh, so we start down here with the Atari. Uh, it's not the first game controller, but it's one of the earlier ones. And then we go to the joystick numeric keypad, which I know of as on the ColecoVision, which I believe that specific controller is the ColecoVision. Uh, well, I have seen this on other controllers. Uh, NES controller, SNES controller, Sega Mega Drive, Atari Jaguar, PlayStation, so on and so forth. What the hell is that? Apparently it's from the Sega Saturn. N64 controller. See, I thought the N64 controller looked weird, but what the fuck is that? Uh, DualShock. Oh, I'm skipping one. We go this way, and then this way. Steam controller. Um, there, more accurate. Since, you know, the Steam controller doesn't exist yet. Uh, moving along. This is all the stuff that's in here. Muni Design Contest. Apparently, you can join a contest. I don't know if you get anything for it, but uh, interesting. The novel, Ready Player One. The Super Fight Loot Crate deck and the dice. Uh, the Hex Bugs, all of the Hex Bugs. See, I got this one in blue. That one's actually got legs. That one's got legs. That one probably has wheels. I don't know. Oh, and they glow in the dark. There we go. Uh, Waka Waka poster. Yep, it is a poster. And then exclusive Firefly online premium ship unlock code. Yeah, not going to be playing Firefly online. Uh, and then all the little bits. You know, the... One through four players, and then all of the little tokens that you have to put in the loot crate, which include a t-shirt, which did not come in this loot crate, some 8-bit sunglasses that everybody makes fun of, a vinyl figure, a poster, and the badge. Okie dokie. Well, that was Play by Loot Crate. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. Who would win in a fight? Two Tribbles. Armed with surface-to-air missile launchers. And a flying saucer. Or Dr. Horrible. Who shoots lasers out of his ears. And regrows body parts at will. Hmm. The world may never know.